But she brought a whole posse in here with her. I better give her this award. Every other person came with her. And they all strapped. Come on up here, Christina. Uh, you can get up here. You ain't getting up my ass with you all night. I can help you all avoid cockeyed pictures. <laughs> One photographer at a time. There you go. Say something nice. Don't talk about my mother. She's dead. <laughs> I know well, we're going to talk about that run early in the morning. Oh, oh amen. amen. Well, thank you all very much. Thank you, Donnie, for this opportunity. Um, one of the things that I'm, I'm really, really appreciative about is to definitely be acknowledged as the daddy in Baltimore City. Because I'm um, coming from a background of, like it was said, having an awesome mom over there in the corner. She makes me feel like Biggie when I'm in the crowd. She you know, always <laughs> smiling. <laughs> so I'm definitely um, up, grateful. Up, That's my mom right there. Show me. Yeah. Um, basically, just, just really happy. And also, my dad is around here somewhere. My stepdad, who done put me in the mayor's seat. So, yeah. <laughs> I want you to see too much of my family, Donnie. We want to know, we want to know who we can tell. And I also have my great sister here as well. And I love my family who supports everything that I do in Baltimore City. Um, you know, she's the good one from South Carolina. But I just really want to take a moment to, to be really, really serious about advocating for a vulnerable group of people in Baltimore City, and that's the homeless. Um, on March the 7th, when I had the opportunity to house the 12 off of I-83, it really changed my life of housing. I've been doing assisted living for 15 years, and these individuals really changed my life. And God showed me that they need to be taken care of, they need to be advocated for, they need a voice against bullies and people who may not understand that a lot of them are not homeless by choice, they are homeless by, choice, by force and the neglect of a lot of our systems. So basically being an advocate for them is something um, that God has planned for me to do for the rest of my life. Um, having the airways, I'm also a radio host on WLB. I hope I can say that in the air, but that's fine. Yeah. I am. And you know, that's- invoice will be at the door. My invoice will be at the door. I'll take an invoice too. <laughs> but I do that to create ways to really be able to put awareness out there so that um, Businesses, entrepreneurs, vendors, everyone can realize that at the end of the day, we have to take the blessings that's given to us and really give it back to those who need it. So I love my support team, Pamela Vid, Pamela pushing the vision, powerful people, Thank Dr. You. Humphrey, you know, Larry the celebrity cab driver's in the building as well. Okay. So I want to put it all out there, but like you said, I just want to say thank you to all of you guys, and um, I appreciate you a lot, Donnie, for this opportunity. Awesome. Sandra Harris, would you please report to the front? Sandra Harris? Is it Sandra? Sandra. Sandra. I'm following Frank's lead. Hi, Sandra. What do you do? Oh, I'm on Women's Talk Radio, so I'm on yes. <laughs> Oh, right? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Let's get you award. <laughs> so, so Donnie obviously have a stack of awards to give out there, but I just, we spoke about uh, you earlier um, this week. And again, we were talking about people that were doing incredible things. And I thought it was amazing that uh, your family has raised, um, you along with your family has raised over $250,000, $200,000 or so. No, it's $75,000 in the last oh, I'm sorry, $75,000 in the last six years. 